welcome back to Animu. Today I thought it'd be fun to take a look at some animated optical illusions and even have a go at making a few myself. So first of all, what do I mean by an animated optical illusion? Well, I have an example here in my studio. You can see one disc, probably doesn't look very special at the moment, but when I hold it up and give it a spin, you'll see that it magically reveals this black and white horse animation. So this is exactly what I mean by an animated optical illusion. You can see the movement here without a TV screen or a monitor. Everything is just contained within this one item. It's just fascinating that this can move by itself. Another example that I have here is this wonderful Cinderella animation which I bought from MGM Studios Florida last time I went to Disney World. So this one's quite simple, you can see that there's only two frames there, but it does hold a photograph, so it's just a little bit of fun really, and this is why it's terrible. So now that we've seen some examples, how do they all work? Well, if we take a look at the first example that I showed, and we look closely at this transparent disc, we'll see that there are many black lines painted down the front and then on the other side there are all the different horse frames that we need to produce the animation and the reason for this is that we only want to see one frame of the animation at a time so all of the other ones are hidden behind the black strips and as this moves, we see a new frame through the gaps between the black lines. And like all forms of animation, when we see these frames being replaced quickly, our brains are fooled into thinking that we see movement when we really just see images being replaced. Right, so now that we know how they work, let's try to make some ourselves. I'm going to use the computer to make mine because I'm really not sure that I have the materials to make the proper handheld ones that I showed earlier. But if you do have plastic or glass that you're happy to paint onto, then please add a video response to this video so that we can check out your animations. I've already put one together for this video. So, ta-da! This is my example. And... There we go. That's my simple black and white animated illusion. Animation in Flash. And now I'm going to show you how to make one. Of course, the first thing that we need to do is open up a new file in Flash. For this tutorial, we're going to create a shape tween. So begin by drawing a basic shape on frame one of the timeline. This will allow us to create the animation quickly for this tutorial. Once you're happy with your shape, move to frame 10 of the timeline and add a blank keyframe. Then draw a new shape at frame 10. I like to enable the onion skin tool for this because it shows me my previous drawing. Once you're happy with your shapes, then add a black fill to help them stand out when we play back the animation later. Then add a tween and move back to frame 1, select the image and break it apart. Do the same with the final frame. Open the properties panel and convert the motion tween to a shape tween. 
By doing this, Flash automatically animates our two images. OK, so now we can take a look at the animations. I want to break up some of the fill in my animation. So I'm just going to drop a white blob into the centre of my shape on frame 1. Once you're happy with your animation, remove any outlines from the first and final shape because these outlines will animate separately from the fills. Convert all of the frames between the first and final images to keyframes. Then add new layers to the timeline and move each of these keyframes to a separate layer, being sure that they are kept in the same order. Remove any excess frames so that all of the animation is contained on frame 1 of the timeline. Lock and hide all of these layers and create a new layer at the top. This layer will hold our black stripes, so begin by creating one of these. Then select and duplicate this stripe. Repeat this action until you have a large area filled with stripes. Use the Align tool to make sure that these stripes are evenly spread. Mine aren't perfect, but you can take some time to fix yours as well as you want to. Copy these stripes and paste them into a new layer at the top. Break these stripes apart and draw a bar with no outline at the top of them. This new shape will help us to cut away any parts of the animation that should not be visible. By adding the bar with no outline to the top of these stripes, the object will be very easy for us to select and move when it's sitting above other graphics. It's important to replace this shape's fill with a new colour so that it doesn't get lost within the black animation. Now copy the new object and paste it in place on the first frame of the animation. Select the object again and delete it from the stage. By doing this, only the section of the graphic that we want to remain visible will be left on the frame. Move the object to the right slightly, then copy and paste it in place on the second frame of the animation. Again, select the object and delete it. Repeat this step until all of the animation frames have been treated. Finally, make all of the animation frames and the black stripes visible. Select the black stripes and move them left and right along the stage to reveal the animation. So there you have it, how to make your very own animated optical illusion. Thank you for watching this episode of Animoo, my online animation show. If you have any ideas for topics that you'd like me to cover, then please do let me know. And if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Bye bye.